so just thought we'd take a nature walk so we're alongside the river Richard in between well we're just north of Eastby heading towards Shawford and uh, haven't really seen a lot so far some little tiddlers in the in the river you couldn't really see them um, let's see what we've got here I've never walked up this way before this is new for me this is nice so blue gates Field here, and for some reason the swans are in it. Let's see if we can. Um... Okay, and... I can hear lots of birds singing. You've got the railway yard over there behind, there's a fire burning there. I suppose that's yeah, some workmen. We've got a little fire going and behind that the yellow stuff that's all part of the railway yard at Eastley so, water's quite high and quite fast moving as you can see say that waterproof but I don't want to put it to the test here because I'm a long way from home and it's a long day to have wet feet he says stepping in a fucking puddle excuse my language but <laughs> right it's a fair way to um, Shawford. I don't know if I'm going to film the entire walk or just do bits of it. Really should slow down a bit and uh, navigate this carefully. But I should also be looking into reeds like this because quite clearly it's had wildlife travelling through it. It's been trampled by something, and I'll say that something isn't a man or a woman or a child. I'd say it's probably an animal of sorts. Who knows? Hello, a little bird. Oh, he's flown off. I think I scared him. He was trying to get a drink. Sorry, mate. Ah, oh, he'll come back when I've gone. Oh shit! How do I get round this? That side. Oh. Right. What's in here then? Bound to be something in there. I can hear it. This is the sort of habitat that supports the type of wildlife I'm looking for. 
but I think it might be the wrong time of day or even year or both. is running like a fucking athlete look at this you know and I'm supposed to be navigating this so I'm doing my best my poor shoes uh, mind you I bought these shoes with this sort of walk in mind they are supposed to be walking shoes Hiking shoes, I think was the term. Outdoor pursuits, as it were. And they are, according to the blurb on the box, waterproof. As I say, I don't really want to put that to the test now. Oh, we've got a person with a dog ahead coming towards us. So I should try to avoid filming them. Oh, two people. Keep the camera on the water. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're still in the only bit that I can use to get across. Yeah, I can come back. <laughs> Are you waterproof? <laughs> um, the blurb on the box says I am. I don't really want to put it to the test. I'm a long way from home and I'm only using one hand because the other one's holding this phone, which I'm filming with. Uh, this is going to be interesting. I think I'll turn that off so that YouTube doesn't laugh at me. <laughs> right. So there's a railway bridge. We're on to a second camera now because my iPhone battery got down to below 20% and it decided it wanted to go on low power mode which would have made filming difficult when I get to Shortford I'll put it on charge um, so I'm on my proper camera now which I didn't really want to use for this but needs must Okay, so we're coming up to a road now. I don't know what road or where it goes. I suspect it's um, busy. We need to cross it because there's no path under that bridge there. And that waterway is dried out and some of it's gone round that way. This might be the bit where I've got to go round the field rather than along the riverbank because it does look a bit dodgy and you know, I've got to get up the slope without slipping. Right, we're up. All broke, yeah, it's all broke. No, nope, we're not going to go. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, now we'll go. Right, so we're at Albrook Lock, which I can hear to my left. Definitely hear the sound of water. My God, that sounds angry. I think all this water originally just comes from a spring in the ground and the rain that we've been having. And I'm getting attacked by foliage. So, the lock is now behind us. Um, as you can see, the water, although fast, is calm. So it's not that white water. The current's quite strong. Ah, 
we've got water this side, there's a swan. I think, I can't really see very well. Let's have a look what we got, there we go. Oh. And someone's chickens, big chickens. Oh, and more chickens. Oh, blimey, they're everywhere. Here we go. Wonder if I can get a nice clear patch and we get some video of chickens, look. Beautiful. Nice. They're all coming over to look at me because they want to see if I'm feeding them. Hello, chickens. Okay. Just moving on. Sorry, chickens, I've got nothing for you. Right. So, oh, here comes another dog. Oh. Is that a field full of goats? Hello, mate. Oh, okay. Don't want to say hello then. And people more sensibly dressed than I am. Hey, uh, you're all more sensibly dressed than me, that's for sure. <laughs> so we have a field full of... I want to call them goats, I don't know what they are. I'm a city boy. Yeah, they're goats, are they? Sure. Beautiful anyway, I love all animals, I don't care what they are, whether I know what they are or not. As long as they've got less than six legs, I don't care. I'm very selective about what I like that's got six legs or more. Special area of nature conservation. Cool. Keeps the path and out of the water. For sure. Keep out of the water. There's no need to go in the water unless you're on a death wish. So we're past Albrook Hill, so I'd say that's the halfway point. We're head towards Otterbourne. I know where that is, I've been there before. Um, so let's just keep going because it's probably just as treacherous going back as it will be going forward and I don't see the point in going back. Let's just carry on with my goal, which is a nice walk to Shawford. And I might come and do this again with my friend Bear Train Spotter, if he wants to. I think he'll enjoy it, he likes his nature walks. Um, perhaps in the summer or late spring. I reckon this would be a nice walk in um, like in the spring, in dusk. I can see a rat or is it a vole? Hang on, let's zoom so I don't want to frighten it off. That looks like a rat to me. see what happens as I approach. I approach slowly and try not to scare it. Oh, someone else is coming along and it's run off so someone in a big white floppy hat is coming charging towards it. There he is. Oh there's loads of them in there. 
that's the rat run then. Okay, Just leave them in peace to do rat things. I'll just keep on walking and listening out and looking. I can hear you, mate. I don't know where you are. You're kind of above me somewhere. Oh, okay. I'm just getting... By standing there and staring straight up like that, it makes me feel a bit lightheaded, so I'm going to move on. Right. So, well, there's a hole in the ground, so something must have dug that up, because I should imagine that would make a nice home for something. behind me so I'm going to stand to one side and let them pass. No problem. And uh, We've got the railway line running alongside us at the top of that embankment there behind the trees. I can hear the most beautiful bird song, but I can't see the birds that are making the noise. Well, they're in there somewhere. They're very good at hiding and then teasing you. Bye singing at you and you look from them and they're not there look at this lot so someone's been cutting trees down another area where the water's finding its way down to this other lower level so let's see if I can clean some of this mud off my boots Oop, train coming, I think. So what we have here is what I think are alpacas. And they look absolutely gorgeous. Good forage, look at them. And there's a crow, and there's other birds in there as well. Magpies. And there's a gorgeous swan on the bank here. All on his own. Right, let's resume our walk. I've got my uh, my monster energy drink. I was going to drink it and you know stop and drink it. So this river's running now. Look, earlier it's just still water with the overflow running into it from from my left into this. But um, that is now that's looking navigable. Near an aeroplane. There it is. That's going towards Southampton East of the airport. Right I know nothing about.
about these things. I know where it's going. There isn't really anywhere else it can go. <clears throat> right, anyway. We forge ahead, regardless of all the warnings I've been given about treacherous conditions ahead, because I'm stupid, perhaps. I don't know, but I've set out to do this walk and I've come this far now. Been going a while, I haven't been timing it. But, um, Be another sluice or something ahead because I can definitely hear water. Oh, it's just some rapids over there by the looks of it. Yeah. It's a robin anyway, he's right up the top of the tree. He's got himself into a spot where I could see him, but I couldn't pick him out with a camera. So, we didn't get, you didn't get to see him, I did. See that boat. So we are getting to see some things. I think. There it comes.
onwards and upwards. We're not here to film trains, John. Ooh. Sorry. I just scared a blackbird. I didn't mean to. Okay. Hello. <laughs> well, if I scared a black boat, that's nothing compared to what a dog's going to do when it goes down there. There's a road over there. And we're off again. I just stopped for a minute just to rest my arm from holding this camera. This is actually now my camcorder we're using rather than a phone, so I have to hold my arm in a certain way. It starts to get a bit heavy. Nice, isn't it? All right. There's the road. I'm just going to keep right on walking because I'm stu brave, stupid, brave, stupid. Do you think brave and stupid are just two words that mean the same thing, perhaps? More trains. Little country lane. So we're coming out here onto a road. I have no idea where we are now. We're in deepest Hampshire countryside. And I have to say that it's beautiful and the people have been really friendly, the ones that I've come across. So. We've come to a country lane. I'm not sure we can continue on this side. I think we might have to cross over because that's somebody's property. I think we go down this way. Yeah. So this is going to be dicey, if one thinks. So we got barbed wire to the left and just ordinary wire to the right and a muddy track that I'm attempting to follow without getting too muddy again. We're back to where we started, I think. But we're more into the into a wooded area now. 
but the river now is to our right, so we've crossed the river. Yeah, private fishing river watch area, it says. Well, I'm not here to fish. I don't own any fishing equipment. I'm not really into fishing. I understand it is a nice pastime to do for some people. And I have likened fishing to train spotting in many ways that you if your river is your railway line and your trains are your fish, you have lots of time sitting around doing nothing but having to be patient and relaxing and chilling out, and then all the action happens at once. And you either catch something you want or you throw it back. I mean, the analogy's there, you've just got to be imaginative. So this is where you have to kind of look where you're walking. Oh, look at this. Absolutely fascinating this, and now all the fences are gone on both sides, it's all opened up, there's water down there, <coughs> excuse me, and we got the river on this side now, because we crossed it back there, you may remember, um, this is going to be one hell of a video. I might have to break it down into sections. We'll see. Oh, I'm gonna have to do some editing over the next day or so. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Well, I am absolutely loving this. I don't give a shit that I'm getting muddy. I really don't. Got a washing machine back home. All I've got to do when I get in is take everything off. The, sh the mud will come off e easily. The trick with mud is you let it dry and then you just bang it off. When it's your shoes, yeah, it just comes off. Just do it, go outside and do it. But, um, I can hear a helicopter. Oh, there it is. Big old helicopter. Uh, Some of these little bits, like the helicopter there and uh, the planes and the trains, I mean, I'll, I'll keep them in the edit, but I'll, um, I'll also extract them, if you like, and upload them to my other two channels. I've got two other channels. One does trains and one does transport 
So I know you could say trains and transports, the same thing, but one, the transport one has trains in it as well, but they're normally just single clips, so usually shorts or um, views taken from outside the train or in, from inside the train of outside. For example, passing a depot or a yard. Hello, doggy. Another dog caught this one up. So, it's all opening up again now. I see you're a lag behind her, not a run in front of her. <laughs> and you're going to be a YouTube star. Oh, Hello. brilliant. <laughs>